Hey guys, and welcome back to Spyro. When we last left off, we completed the Artisan World, defeated Toasty, and we've moved on to the Peacekeepers. So, unfortunately, we've left the luscious green rolling hills of home behind. Hmm, let's see what we've got in store for us here. Yeah, the enemies look interesting. Titan. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect I'm doing it. Got it. Right, when he says our treasure has been taken and turned against us, what he means is Nasty Norks actually use the treasure to turn them into minions. That is why when we kill an enemy... Ooh, this looks very different, doesn't it? Very different indeed. This is a war-torn desert full of legionnaires. Curious. And look, we have rabbits. Rabbits are our <laughs> um, critter here, which is cool. Alright, let's flame these guys. Now, we can use these cannons ourselves. Which we will do, because there is a reason for using the cannons. Anyway, let's collect up all of this treasure. We also have cactuses, or cacti, instead of... Uh, instead of tulips. Now, I like the way how quickly the cacti actually shake off the flame damage. I assume that's because they're already dried out. Yeah, they definitely shake off the uh, the burn damage a lot quicker. Though, Dry Canyon is first on our list. But before we do that, let's 100% this uh, hub world, shall we? I think that seems like a good idea. Alright, let's go take these Legionnaires on. Now, we do actually have a skill point here. Scare six gnorks uh, into tents. All right, well, we can do that. Now, one thing I like about these tents is you can actually flame them. And you can find the gnorks inside. And they shine their ass at us as well. <laughs> oh, is that funny, is it, buddy? Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, well, I made a complete and utter pig's ass of that, didn't I? Eesh, that should totally be an achievement. Ramming an orc in the ass. Okay. Now, what else have we got going on here? Right, let's get all those guys in. And we get all these guys in as well. That should be six. There we go. Skill point. You get off the cannon, dick. Definitely don't want any cannon shells raining down on our face. Right, let's finish clearing off the battlefield. Not bad, man. Not bad. I love these chests as well. We just flame the uh, the actual chest and the gem jumps up. Right, let's jump on this cannon because we've got some work to do. Hmm, harder to stay on the cannon than I thought it was. Let's blast the target. Now, you can actually destroy these chests as well because you can't get into these chests. There is no key for them. But luckily... Uh... I was going to say, that chest took a little while to fade out there. Right, who are you? Magnus. That's a cool name. Magnus. Oof. Hey, Spyro. Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. He has. Be sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. <laughs> yeah, don't you worry about it, Magnus. We'll look after our pal. Oof. Ooh, it like shrivels up. That's cool. Another life. Now, unfortunately, lives don't respawn. It would have been cool if they did. Okay. Gems. Excellent. We want all of the gems. So, what's that? Dr. Shemp. So, that's the actual boss. We can go do him now, but... Yeah, we have to get a perfect run on Dr. Shemp, which is actually not that hard. Now I've said that, we're going to fail at that hardcore, because, you know, let's play as curse in full effect and all that. Alright, nice. I think it's 300 gems. No, it's only 200. Okay, so we're most of the way there. Cool. Now that poisonous tar in the rivers there, that's lethal. Now, some poisonous tar in this game is uh, instant kill. That stuff isn't. 
but every time you fall into it you will take one point of damage so you get three you basically you get three attempts to get out of it if you get stuck in it all right so we've got more wabbits and there's our egg thief full speed ahead spyro flame his ass not bad boy not bad we'll make a killer out of you yet who are you friend Gunnar. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're on it. We're on it. Oh, ye of little faith. We have a key, which means there's going to be a chest somewhere. Hmm. Who was laughing? Oh, I think it was the. Yeah, I think it was the fairy laughing at us. It's not very nice of her, you know. Kind of dickish, if you ask me. Really? There's like two gems over here. God damn it. Alright, not bad. Now, unfortunately, because of those two gems, we've got to go... Oh, the bloody... Oh, there's more gems we've missed here. What the hell? That's sloppy, Titan. Sloppy. Now, there's another level down here. Yeah, I've missed these gems on quite a few occasions. Ice Cavern, yeah, so Ice Cavern's a bit of an ass of a level. To 100% anyway. But, you know, we'll get there. There's also three lives hidden on the Ice Cavern level. And they're kind of sly to get. Now, we want the other platform, don't we? That's the one, Spyro. That's the one. There we go. Glide right on over. So, what we've got through here? Lots of treasure. We like treasure. Dragons always have a fascination with treasure. Boom. Nice. Level complete. And we've got all the eggs and the dragons. Not bad. Right, let's go over here. And I think we'll go for Dry Canyon first. Dry Canyon. Now, this is a really cool level. You'll notice straight off the bat... The levels get significantly longer and more complex. And I'm going to have to make some coffee in a minute. Dry Canyon. Come on, Spyro. Get your ass over. I'm raring to go. Uh, we also get enemies with guns, I believe, on this level too. This is the first time we would have encountered long-range capable enemies. And they definitely mix it up a little bit. Yeah, it looks like we've got wabbits. That's cool. Always try and make a mental note of where the critters are on a level as well, just in case you get really badly injured. Yeah, they've got blunderbusses. Definitely want to take these guys out. And there's a thief running around here. We just saw him, but the little bastard got away. Where are you? There you are, you little shit stain. You ain't getting away, friend. Ooh, ooh, he's a he's a spicy one, this fucker. Oh, you dickbag. Alright, Spyro. Come on. Come on. Let's gain, gain, gain. Take the inner racing line. Shit. As you can see, they have this way of always just slightly staying ahead of you. It's frustrating. But they're not too bad. Uh, camera angle. Thank you. Alright, not bad. Not sure why that actually missed me there. I'm definitely sure that should have hit, but I'm not going to argue. So, 400 units of treasure to find. Alright. Green gems are worth one, uh, two. No, it's the red gems that are worth one. I remember. Hey, buddy. Who are you? Conan. You're welcome, dude. 20 dragons already. Not bad. Yes, you try it, pal. Okay, some... Mm, a little bit tricky to hit the enemies sometimes. Not really sure why. I think the camera angle just spacks out. But it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so what we got here? Let's go this way first. Because why not? I very much like the way the levels are open ended. Green gems are five, I believe. 
think they are. You can get fucked. Ah, look at all these guys. You can try, friends. You can try. Luckily, their projectiles are really freaking slow. Now we've got buzzards here as well. Buzzards aren't much to worry about. <laughs> now the buzzard actual... Yeah, you can see the buzzard keepers there. Quite funny. You would think they would launch it at you or something, but they don't. They just go to smack you in the face with the buzzard, which I think is brilliant. Ooh, almost. No, blue gems are worth two. What about blue gems said it was worth two? Yeah, no, they aren't worth five. I thought I was right. I'm right, damn it. Yeah. Yeah, and I think uh, yellow gems are worth ten. Then it goes up to purple gems. So much about. Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known. Uh, you've known. Ah, uh, I forget. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. You're a right fountain of knowledge. You are. Um, cool. So let's get out of here. Oh, you son of a bitch! That was sly. Roasted his ass too. So there's a life there and some gems, but we need to get higher. Ever higher. Wow, look at that over there. There's a lot of goodies over there. But we need a key. Well, no matter. Sure we can get a key sooner or later. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Alright, let's go snag this life. Alright, not bad. Up to 17 lives. That's going to rapidly diminish when we get to the uh, swamp lands, I think. I think the swamp lands is literally my my nemesis in this game. I like these little firework chests here as well. They always go off in a nice little uh, display, which pleases me. Now, I always forget if you're meant to glide over from there or here. I think you glide over from here. We'll figure it out. Oh, you little sod. Hello. Yeah, the early levels, they really do just throw lives at you left and right. Luckily, I can hear goodies. I can hear critters behind us. What I like about this level is this, it's so dense. There's just loads of stuff everywhere. Boris, eh? Don't put us into another lockdown, Boris. Good it does. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. Good man. Well, Spyro, <laughs> I will try. I will try. Okay. So what have we got in here, then? Ooh, hey friend. Not bad, not bad. So we've already cleared that area out. Cleared that area out as well. All right, I think that's just like a alternate route up, I think. Let's see if we can flame this guy, we can. Really? Did he just like not notice us? King of the morons. That's fine. I like it when the enemies are retarded. Can you even say retarded these days? Probably not. Can't say fuck all these days, let's be fair. But hey, fuck it. The day I start giving a shit about that stuff is a very dark day indeed. Boop. Now, um, let's go onto the main area here. Let's see if we can find ourselves a key. Get out of here, buddy. Ah, still no key. But there is a dragon up there, and the dragon has the key. <laughs> you thought I didn't know where the key was, didn't you? Right, five gems. So we're up to 55. Nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Now, this uh, here, we actually need to glide round. So let's go do that. Yeah, yeah, that's actually the circle on the map. Okay, cool. Alright, well, 
No time like the present, I guess. Uh, so we need to get up somewhere nice and high around here. Let's go get some health first. Sorry, one of you will have to surrender your lives for the cause. Cheers, boss. Your sacrifice will be almost immediately forgotten. There we go. Not sure how these enemies constantly spawn butterflies. Not really sure how that fits into the lore. You know. Right, let's get up here. Actually, I genuinely don't think they've ever really explained how uh, the little critters turn into dragonflies. But then I don't know if anybody really cares, you know? You just accept it as fact. It, you know, it is what it is. It's magic. Dragon magic. Right. Give me the key, bro. Maximus. Oof. Stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Plain <laughs> broiled with a pinch of salt. I'll remember that. Cheers, buddy. Alrighty. So now we have a key. We just need a chest. Luckily, we know where there is a chest. Uh, we just need to get back round to it. God damn it. Give me some of that good stuff, Fairy. Cheers, me old mucker. We're gonna miss, we're gonna miss. No, we're fine. Nah, we're fine. I have faith in Spyro. I have all the faith in the world in Spyro. I mean, he is the best glider. He was born to glide, after all. Alright, so we can either jump from up there or we can jump from there. I think we're gonna jump from up there. I always get confused here. I can never remember exactly which. Uh platform we glide from but I'm fairly sure it's this one there's a lot of treasure over there as well which is nice there we go that is the one that's the boy right open says me yeah they've actually um there's a lot of controversy going on at the moment about uh taking uh, or removing the phrase blind playthrough from twitch and stuff like that you know you can't even say that anymore world's gone fucking mad it really has it really has gone mental holy shit we, we never saw this coming in the 90s fuck me half of the people alive these days wouldn't well they just wouldn't have survived in the 90s let's be honest all right, let's return home. Especially in some of the early uh, game uh, lobbies, like Call of Duty and uh, Team Fortress from back in the day. Jesus, there's things that we used to call each other back then. Probably be in jail, lined up for execution. All right, let's get these cannoneers gone. I <laughs> love the way they salute as they go down. Everybody's so serious these days, aren't they? Jesus, we used to rip the piss out of each other. You know, friends do take the piss out of each other. It's kind of like what you do, really. Not bad. Yeah, quite, I think it was last year we actually had a letter about, um, when, uh, yeah, it was a letter that we all had from my place, yeah, let's go to the ice caverns, from my place of employment, saying about, uh, you know, we need to be careful how we talk to each other, to careful what we say to each other, you know, we don't want people getting offended and that kind of stuff. Oh, fuck off. If you're that delicate, maybe you should, uh... Maybe not mix with the kind of job that we do. Because we're pretty horrible to each other. It's called banter. I wonder how long it's going to be before they actually outlaw banter. Right, now the ice caverns. This is uh, the 400, another 400 level. This is quite the big one. So, let's get to work, Spyro. 
Also, it's a very, very pretty level. Very pretty level. Look at all this treasure. There's the exit home. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to actually see that on the Switch, I don't think. But with the power of the Xbox One X, we see all. Alright, let's go. Now, these little bastards do throw snowballs at you. Oh, they're probably going to outlaw that one day. Not, oh, yeah, the bats are the critters on this level. Uric. Go on. Wait until you grow big, <clears throat> like me, before charging those large enemies. All right. Yeah, where were you when all the shit was going down? Okay. Yeah, it is the yellow slash gold gems that are worth ten. Thought it was, and then you get the purple that are worth twenty-five. Hey, friend, have some fire. We're just here to warm these guys up. We're trying to do them a favour. Ah, oh, look at all those gems. Glorious. Now, let's grab that. Uh, now, there is a secret on this level, as I, I think I mentioned in the last video, where there is three lives on a pedestal. Oh, God, hello. Hudor. Uh oh. Ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Really? Hmm. An idea is formulating. I'm having a headache with pictures. Okay. Sounds good. Right. Let's get out of it. Uh. I think we need to go out and around. Now, I like this little area. There we go. Uh, we should be able to glide over and grab this, like so. There's the key. Excellent. Now we just need to find a chest. I'm pretty sure we will. There are no keys without chests. That is the video game way. Hey friend, have some fire. Just listen to that music as well. It's just fantastic. It's a lot of uh, keyboard in Spyro. It's such a such a unique soundtrack. A blend of uh, keyboard and guitar. You are most welcome, my friend. Enjoy your freedom. Try not to get instantly captured again. You know, considering Nasty Nork was actually imprisoned in his own prison world, he seems to very easily be able to fuck the dragons up. Which is curious. It makes me sceptical to just how much of his power he was hiding. Now, these are the bigger armoured guys. These guys we need to ram. Like that. Sayonara, sucker. I do like the way the bats actually come right up to us and start flying around our heads. Bless them. Uh, we need to get up there. Which memory serves. I actually can't remember how we get around there. Don't laugh at me, fairy. For God's sakes. Alright, anything down and around here? I don't think so. Ah, yeah, there we go. Couldn't actually see that. Kind of all blending into one. I knew it wasn't that complicated. And there is our chest. Oops, that was sucky. Yeah, you can't really see that there. Alright. So, hopefully we're going to get a good chunk of treasure in this chest. There we go. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Halfway there. Nice. And there's something very satisfying as well with these old games. The way you can just uh, completely grab and start clearing out sections. And you can, especially on the levels where you can come back up, get to a good vantage point and see the progress you've made where you've collected uh, everything and cleaned the level out. Really satisfying. I'm not sure why. Huh. But it is. Anyway, uh, my cats are annoying me. So one second. I need to feed them.
Right, now the cats have been fed. Uh, whoa, whoa. Ah, right, yes. Okay, cool. Now, what we need to do now, there it is. So, we actually need to go back to the start of the level. And that's the secret I was talking about earlier. For some reason, I always think it's a little bit further on, but looking out there, it isn't. You can actually do this straight away, straight off the bat. And this is a cool secret. It's one secret that I wish that you could uh, keep making use of, if that makes sense. Here we go. All right, so what we need to do here, at least I think it's it. I'm sure it's this one here. If we jump off, there we go. Yeah, it is this one. And circle straight round, we get three lives. It's actually one of the most lucrative secrets in the game. Yeah, I always forget about that. I always think you have to get over there somewhere. But hey, it's cool. We're all good. It's all gravy, baby. You right there, friends? Oh, there's actually four lives here, technically. Now, I remember that took me a considerable amount of time when I was a kid to work that one out. I don't think it actually uh, has any bearing on your 100% status of the game or the 120% status of the game, but it's nice to get because lives are pretty good to have, especially later on in the game, where at least for me, they do rapidly dwindle. I have no idea. Where were you, buddy? Alright, let's continue mopping this up. We're almost there now. Another couple of armored guys. Right, let's make short work of you. Too big, too slow. Ah, our dragon nature. We're so. N Ooh, you son of a bitch. Come here, you little bastard. Eat that. Get fucked. Get fucked. Nice 10 gems from him. Not bad. Alright. Now, I do like the gems up on these poles as well. Again, that's another thing as a kid that I never really realised that you could not go down. But you can. And indeed, you need to. So, bear that in mind. Now, it would be nice to get some bats. And hopefully, there should be some bats around here. Hey! Defeat all the skiing norks. Ah, oh, right. I don't know... If... Oh, I have got some achievements in this game. Oof. Oh, we might have to get some of these. Yeah, of course, because I unlocked all of these trophies on the PS4. Yeah, that's right. Ah! Come here. Come here. I didn't actually get them on the uh, Xbox. It, it does feel a bit weird playing this on the Xbox, I've got to be honest. Because for me, this was always a PlayStation game. But the Xbox is the better version, so that's what we're going with. Almost there. Ragnar. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. Cheers, I'm buddy. Ready, all right. uh, ready for what? A war, Spyro. A war. What do you think? Catch up. You're usually so quick. Right, cool. So, what are we missing? We're missing a few gems down here. That might might be it, actually. Ah, oh, we're missing 20 gems in total. Oh, there's a 10 gem. There's 10 gems that we've missed somewhere. Bugger. Balls. Oh, no, there's... There's some. Eight gems left. Son of a bitch. Now, if I... was eight gems, where would I be? Now, unfortunately, going for that secret with the level half complete 
uh, let's complicate things. I, I used to be convinced there was a secret down there. Uh, there is not. Well, I mean, technically, I suppose there is, depending on how you look at it. Um, you know, if you jump down there, the mysteries of the afterlife will, or the secrets of the afterlife, will reveal themselves to you. But uh, it's not really a, a secret a young dragon really wants to uh, explore, shall we say. Um, now. Eight bloody gems that we're missing. Damn. That's a kick in the bollocks, isn't it? Right, one second, guys. I'm going to run around and try and find them. Well, looks like we've got a winner, guys. Through here. Although, we're still missing two gems. God damn it. Two gems, honestly. Right. So, two gems. So that could be two one gems. Or two red gems, or it could be a green gem somewhere. Huh. That's a fuck factor for sure. Alright, one second, guys. Let me find it. Okay, guys. I believe I have found the problem. After spending about 25 minutes going through the entire level again. And... Oh, God. There we go. Get some health. Yeah, I, I ran around the level for about uh, 20 minutes or so, and then I quit the level and redid it from scratch, and it appears there's the problem. I'm guessing that that treasure chest bugged out and did not appear, for whatever reason, because I've literally scoured this level for probably about 45 minutes in total, and that was not there. So, interesting. I've played this game about five, uh, one, two, three, about four times uh, since it came out on different platforms, and I've never had a bug where treasure has disappeared. So, it didn't even cross my mind that the game might have bugged out on us. But there we go. I guess, I guess it did. So, if we get stuck in the future and we can't find a particular piece of treasure, we may have to exit the level and come back in. But anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we got there in the end. So, we're going to leave it there for now. When we come back, we're going to continue thinning out this level. Now, the ice caverns always a, was a bit of a weird one for me. I was never sure why there was an ice level in the desert. But uh, <laughs> I guess it's kind of a, an odd artistic choice, I suppose. But hey, it works. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. When we come back, we've got another two missions left to do, I believe. Yeah, two normal missions left. And we... Oh, yeah, we've got the boss, one normal mission, and the flying mission left to do. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.